All right, hey guys, welcome to the channel. Just want to do a very quick uh, overview of what's new in the Rolex 2022 releases. As you can see here, this is kind of the big one. This is the GMT Master II in the black and the green bezel. Um, it's very peculiar that Rolex would go this route. I think uh, it's an interesting colorway, but also what's more interesting is the fact that the date and the crown are on the left-hand side. So we'll see what that brings for the GMT Master II. Now, this is the new, I guess, new Air King. It looks very similar to the old one. Obviously, it has the newer caliber in it. Um, but I guess what's different about this one is that uh, Rolex actually put a zero in front of the five, between zero and five, to make it a little bit more legible, according to Rolex. Uh, so not much has changed on the Air King, at least visually, but we'll see about that as well. And next we have the Day Date Platinum, uh, 40 millimeters. This is kind of a breakthrough because pr uh, previously Rolex actually wasn't able to make a platinum fluted bezel. Uh, so this looks very clean, very sharp, and um, adds to sort of the luxurious elements of this watch and I think is a very stunning release. So that's the Day Date 40. And then next we have the Yachtmaster 42 on the Oyster Flex. Uh, this is in sort of a yellow gold. Uh, previously, I think it was in, offered in Everose. So that's kind of like the, the thing that's a little bit different about this model uh, in this release. So um, yeah, pretty striking, good looking watch on the Oyster, Oyster Flex bracelet. And lastly is the uh, Datejust 41. And this one has sort of a flower petal motif with these uh, diamond accents. Uh, looks pretty elegant. Uh, it's kind of a Rolex's step in a kind of bringing the, the motif dials to their collection. And uh, I think looks uh, very elegant and very classy as well. So that's just a very brief summary of the new releases. Let me know what you guys think and I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.